search for Justin Young. I don't know if the Robert is there, but I'm I'm way more popular on Google Plus than all the other Justin Youngs, and I mean to keep it that way. I'm proud uh, to to admit that this is the finished product of what was just cooked <laughs> in my kitchen. Uh, it looks like cookie dough, which um, Robert Benford is going to eat live. Really? I didn't yeah, know about no, that. No, you, you well, did. because, Why? yes, because Why we need to. Until the real deal. No way. You don't get the real deal. We're gonna, you're going to eat oh, that. That's, mean, that's the real thing. That's all there is. That's all there is. All right. And so now this let's take it away with the one ups. This is a very, uh, uh, very good yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Real quick, do me a favor, uh, folks. Yeah, I know a lot of people bought uh, the audiobook for Public Enemy Zero, which I did for uh, Andrew Mann's book, Public Enemy Zero. If you listened to it and you liked it, do us a favor. Go on Amazon and uh, and, and review a Public Enemy Zero favorably. If you didn't like it, then die. Please kill yourself. Um, <laughs> Cake. But uh, otherwise, uh, five-star reviews and really positive things help the book and uh, you know uh, everything tremendously. And also, coming soon, the Public Enemy Zero podcast which is going to be that audiobook, uh, serialized and faux free on iTunes. And the Chronological Man audiobook will be available sometime in the next week and a half. So keep an eye on andrewman.com slash books or follow me on Google Plus or Twitter, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, cool. I would like to introduce you to uh, the one-ups yet again, <laughs> playing us out tonight. Is Ain't it, no is love. It, is that what oh, you like, say? Oh, yes. would, would, you, would, you, would you bring out like your girlfriend again? Like, I would like to introduce you again to my girlfriend. And I'm like, we already met earlier. Like, well, let me introduce you a second time. That's oh, if you wanna, if you wanna, I also have a Facebook. It's uh, it's Netflix.com slash Twit the Binford slash Facebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very good point. Go for it, uh, <laughs> folks. Off their newest album, Intergalactic Redux. Ain't no love like Lawanda's, folks. The one ups. Take it away.
There we go. Hold on, we got we got this little, one more thing. Forgot to tell you, I really like cookie dough. One ups we're gonna play on NSFW shows summer movie draft. Well, for the fact of the matter, I'm wearing the one ups official T-shirt. Got myself my signed copy of Volume Two. Of course, my signed copy of Volume One and the Super Mario Kart CD and all the rest of the fine products from One Up Studios, or the One Ups personally, are in my living room right now. I could not be more excited for the fact that Mustin and the One Ups are playing on an SFW show. So rock on, you guys. Thank you for playing. They played, idiot. <laughs> you can't say that. You, you made a video to say how much you like the One Ups. Well, you know, then then he should have said it before they played. All right, Nine see you next fire. Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Stay tuned Goodbye, for the uh, Blue Draft Minute with Roberto. Goodbye, Williams. everybody. Goodbye. So long. Bye. I don't know if you'll ever see me again. This might be the last time. Welcome to the Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Viegas in for Chip Blardy Blar. Let's do this. In first place, Sarah Lane still reigns supreme with $805 million, with a changeup bringing a measly $13.5 million, and Harry Potter still bringing in the money with $12.4 million. Brian Brushwood is still in second place with $574.1 million, with Captain America bringing in $13 million this week. Justin still in third place with $478.9 million, with Carl go right behind him in fourth with $458.8 million. Jason remains in fifth place with $423.8 million. And bringing up the rear, Tom Merritt is still in sixth place with Rise of the Apes bringing in $54.8 million, raising his total to $378.7 million. That's your Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Villegas. sir what are we going to call this episode robert oh go ahead. Cookie dough. wait you turned it off turn it on there you go oh, i didn't realize i turned my mic off that's I, all right i have cookie dough in my eye right now do you really yeah <laughs> i believe you do you look oh, like yeah, you just cried a lot oh really <laughs> no that's cookie dough i've got to tell you i really like cookie dough and when i get near cookie dough i just i can't help myself and I, I, it's gonna be all over my face <laughs> of course you do why would oh, you man <laughs> Listen, well, it's I, an as soon as I saw him bring the cookie dough, I'm like, uh oh. Well, I, little, I hope he doesn't give it to me, and he gave it to me. Um, and I gave it to myself. People are the asking for suck up the victory juice. <laughs> which uh, Robert's victory juice. Robert's victory juice. Robert's victory juice is pretty good. All right, I'm down with it. Uh, is one up still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one up's are right over here. What's going? Hey, fellas, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. One ups. What up, what ups? What ups? Hey guys, we just wanted to. Where are you guys well, going? You guys are we great. We wanted to thank you for being on the show. Was it the peanut butter? Yeah. I mean, it may cookie or may dough. Not have been the You're really good. Was, was it the cookie dough? We didn't mean to. We like. We didn't mean to bring up Super Mario. Come on. What ups? Dude. Come on, do more Mega Man. What ups, guys? What ups? We're hey, what ups? Hey, you in the green what shirt? What ups? We're th we're there, guys. Guys, guys, come on! All right, what if we all said it at the same time? Ready? All One, right. two, three. What ups? What ups? Oh man! What like, ups? This is like every other relationship in my life. <laughs> <laughs> where they're leaving. Wait, where are you yeah. going? Wait. Here, everybody wave. Maybe they can see us. Guys. guys. Five guys Wait, in a video game guys. theme band. Don't pay yeah. attention. <laughs> guys. Guys. Guys, come back. Guys, come back. Do Donkey Kong. <laughs> Does Donkey Kong have a... Yeah. Guys. This, uh... hey, what ups? What ups? Guys. What ups? What ups? What ups? I'm a guy sitting at a keyboard. I'm a guy. I'm picking up the keyboard, putting do, it away. Do Halo. <laughs> do 
I love this little song. For do, you. do some Adam Ant. Do you guys? Take hey guys, 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 guys. Do you guys All know right. any uh, police songs? Whatever. The police. I, I'm trying. Okay. The Keystone Cops is the only one that I'm hanging up on the one upside. Hey, too. bye, guys. Bye. 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 That's awesome. That's pretty amazing. That is amazing. Uh, okay, so we're going to call it, uh, we're going to call it what again? Robert Juice, I guess. <laughs> no, Robert, Robert, Robert's Victory Juice. Robert's Victory Juice. Okay. Uh, what episode is I should is sell this? that. You should. But I don't know if people are going to want to buy it, let alone drink it. They will if they want to win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't call it Victory Juice because it makes you a loser. I can. This is episode 86, 88. This is making me want to buy more ties. Dude, ties are great. I need to wear ties. Because it's like you can put them on just just to just to act like, you know, just taking them off is worth the price of putting them on. Because it's like, and of course, I don't have a job where I ever wear a tie. So it's just like, you just be like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just, let me just. Hang on. You know what? Here, watch this. One take, Brian. Ready? <clears throat> Episode 88, what was the name of it? Robert's Victory Juice? August 9th. This is NSFW, episode 86 for August 9th, 2011. Robert's Victory Juice. <laughs> oh, it's 88? Ah! <laughs> you can dub over it. Dub over it with my voice. All right. Well, uh, that's sad. Okay. Nah, that sucks. This is NSFW episode 88 for August 9th, 2011. Robert's Victory Juice. <laughs> The first one was better. Yeah. Yeah. You should take off your clothes again. Yeah. You should just yeah, keep you on just taking keep the clothes off. Yeah. You probably get five. What's up? How about I do this? It's the dang <laughs> Two bros, in the, bro. In the chat room, messing you up. Huh? It's the dang people in the chat room messing you up. How about this? They need to let you work. This is episode eighty-eight of NSFW. <laughs> All right, go for it, buddy. On this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by our old pal, Mr. Fish Stick Sandwich Burrito himself, Robert Bedford. We play foreign celebrity or capture phrase. Also, we delve into the world of Fiverr.com and back a few of our own favorite projects. The one-ups join us as a musical guest. Oh, what delights await you in this edition of the NSFW show. <laughs> Nobody said bless you. My plan was I was going to sneeze, somebody was going to say bless you, and then I was going to play this. Bless you. <laughs> you guys aren't doing your uh, part. You can fix it in post. Thing. Hey, look, I can look like that uh, one of them Bieber kids. Bless you. Like yeah, that's seven. what I look like. There we go. Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. Man, if only we had an in with that guy. You know what I ought to do? What? Billboards? I to... <laughs> Plugs? I ought to Suicide? 
I ought to do all of those things. But I ought to like intentionally – everyone always comments how similar uh, Alex Albrecht and I look like with my hair styled more normally. And I'm thinking I ought to full-on copy his hairstyle and dress like him and pretend to be him for something. There's, it seems like there's no way that can go wrong. Billboards. Billboards. All right. You ready? This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your three... Just say it's free, then everybody will want to go on Netflix. <laughs> I feel like for all free movies, all the time, for free. Well, I, I said three instead of free, didn't I? Yeah, for, for your like three August. free for 10 day free periods. All right, here we go. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. I need to get the other ad read over here. Get it all. Papa John's. <laughs> for your free pizzas, unlimited pizzas for free at Papa John's. <laughs> Whatever you want. Pockets. 24-7 free pizzas. Right. Time, money, and hassle. <laughs> who, who, said, who said Hot Pockets? Was that Jammer V? It was. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, all right, are you ready? Yes. <clears throat> Adrian Brody. Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use the offer code NSFW8. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, you got to do it again. You got to do the NSFW8 <laughs> at the end, um, but but without, without the ear splitting. <laughs> We want me to do it longer? <laughs> no, no, don't do the, don't do the. Um. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ipsis versus says, "Uh, sorry, it's a uh, and by." <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> by squarespace.com the fast and easy way to create a high quality website or blog for a free trial and 10% off your new account for six whole months go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8 <laughs> that's good hey man rock the cookies give me we got, oh, boy, what these are cooked, baked cookies. I Those don't look but... cooked. They don't look good? I need more oh, water. They don't look cooked. They look good as hell. They, well, they're... They, um, Justin, shh. something went They're wrong. microphones. They're microphones. No, There's a happen. reason we all have microphones, and it's so can we can be them. heard. All right. Oh. Because I don't have one. Oh, there is none. More Here. water. You need more water? Jammer B, were you trying to say something? I drank all my water. I ate a bunch of cookie dough and I don't have any water. <clears throat> hey, um, can we can we take him? Can we talk? Can we chat with Jammer B? <laughs> no. Jammer B, can we please talk to you? Okay. Hey, man. Dude, uh, how's it going? I heard I, I saw the photos of the first set of bricks going up, man. The bricks are amazing. Looking very good. Well, I've got that. I've got that list to send you. <laughs> I uh, uh, I got. Uh, I got I got your um. Your list for you. I'll send that over to you. But we are we are so excited. And um, uh, how stoked are you for the uh, for the big twenty first shindig? That's pretty exciting. I'm kind of thrilled that uh, we're having big cleanup crews coming in, and everything is going to be cleaned up. We generate a lot of trash over here, 
I don't think that um, our custodial system is caught up to the amount of people we have and the amount of trash we generate, especially, you know, opening up the new studio. Hey, look, here I am. Can you see me? Ha 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 ha. We turned off the lights. You can't see me. Ha ha ha. I'm not, I'm not receiving anything, I think, is the main receive, reason I'm not able oh, to receive. Well, people out in the Voice real come. world saw that. Oh, they all saw you. I see, I see. You're, you're in the dark. Hang on, I let me hit stop. I'm going to start. I think there's a light here for Jason. When Jason sits here, let's see if I can find that light. Um, operator says OP. Uh, Are we still? We're we're still transmitting live. We're just no longer recording the actual okay. episode. Of we're still show. on NSW.com. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're still we're NSFWshow.com. Okay. Holy cow! He brought water for you. Thank you. In some strange form of uh, water, barley, hops, and yeast for me. Liquor. <clears throat> uh, hang on. Uh, this is episode 11, 08, No, 09. not ice. I said limit. More lemons, not ice. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, uh, when this guy gives you lemons, <laughs> you make a lemon ice. <laughs> Ask for more. Um, burger, 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 burger. Um, what are we titling this? What do we call this one? Robert's Victory Juice. Oh, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell Robert's Victory Juice in bottles. <laughs> Well, it's going to be turned around. Oh, man, I see cookie crumbs in my eyes. That's a bad idea. Lights up the... Uh... Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, uh, dude, okay, so what's the... What is What remains... What are the biggest things that have to happen between now and the 21st? By the way, uh, you know, I really, really, really wanted to be there for the big twit party on the 21st. But you realize I'm in... The night before, I'm in I'm in Vermont, and the day after, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, someday we'll have supersonic transport easily available for you. Maybe or someday, or someday, I'll just buy a ticket anyway and plan on not sleeping for four days straight, and in the middle of an East Coast run of college shows, decide I should run out to uh, to the Twit Studios to be there on the 21st. We'd love to have you, but we hate to run you into the ground and you know you're gonna have plenty of opportunity to play around but, here with us what i'm telling you is that i definitely already bought a ticket and oh, i'm definitely awesome. on the 21st well you can sleep on the plane if you can sleep on the plane yeah no i'm actually really excited about it i mean it's it's one of those things it's just like it's like look man even if you have to you know even if you have to hustle up and go without sleep for a long time well then <laughs> and that's the way it is. My understanding <laughs> is that our lighting expert, Brent By has procured the disco ball for the kitchen. He has a disco ball for the kitchen? One has been procured. It's not there. It hasn't been lit yet. He says it needs special lighting. So, yeah, we're going to have a disco ball in the kitchen. That's where all the dancing will be. Well, I, uh, I, I'm trying to think of how to... I mean, here's the thing. Well, I don't know. We should, probably shouldn't talk about this on the air, but... Trying to think of how oh, to make things really awesome on the 21st. Presenting some kind of gift. That'd awesome. be awesome. Here's a gift for those of you watching the stream. What is, can, can you send video back to me and then I could watch it? Oh, I'm not sending video back to you? Mm -mm. Why would we not be sending video back to you? I'm going to have to... Gonna, <laughs> Aeon gonna, says... look weird for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Aeon says, Scape School Brian, I don't know if you've ever flown to New Eng uh, from New England to the West Coast, but it sucks. And yes, it totally is. But it's like it doesn't matter. It's like if you're able to sleep on a plane, then you'll be fine, is the idea. Dude, I like the twit after dark setup. There's oh, yeah. Gift. Yes. Yes. That is an amazing gift. Awesome. Um, what else, what else is going on? You guys, I guess you guys are still in crunch time. Has, has there been any relaxation on, on the well, production? Things are getting better all the time. Things are getting better all the time. Uh, the, as we started, we realized, oh, we need some more of this and we need some more of that. And most of that stuff has shown up. Oh my God. We got these smart view duo panels that go into the rack with uh, two displays. They look really cool in the rack. And we're going to have some of those smart view duo displays here on the control center. Um, we, we have gotten some of the stopgap measures we had in place have been going away. It took us a couple of days to get the audio processing straightened out. And Kirk Harnack is going to be here for the party. And he's going to, you know, the processing was set up for the cottage. So we will fine tune the processing for this space, which is sounding quite a bit different. Um, 
but in terms of uh, the things we need to do every day to go from one show to another, it's getting smoother all the time. So how about the, like, and from my experience, it is so frustrating to be all the way on the outside. And, and it's like, I want so bad to be there with you guys. It's like, if it were up to me, I'd live inside a shabby corner of the toy brick house. But uh, the the only the only negative I'm seeing so far has been that that the audio I receive over Skype from Tom when we do frame rate is real blown out. But it sounds like that's something like I'm experiencing, but nobody else is, right? Or, or well, I say no, 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 no. Uh, only the people returning, getting the Skype return audio would be right. hearing that. The audio that's going out to the stream, audio going to the recordings is processed. The audio going back on the Skype return is not processed, although that is something I can do. Um, no, wait a minute. The, re the mix minus, that, I don't know. I might be able to do something about that. But how am I sounding? Does it sound like I'm blown out now? No, oh, you sound great. You sound awesome. Here, and do me a favor. Try to get loud, and I'll tell you if I'm hearing okay, anything. Okay, this is John talking loudly into the microphone. There's there's just the tiniest yeah. amount of clipping. When, now, is it is it when we're on the living room set with the Countryman mics, or is yeah, it like on TNT? Yeah. No, 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 Countryman mics for sure. Well, an act, yeah, uh, yes, definitely with the Countryman mic on the living room set. So it's not in the recording like that, and it's not in the stream like that. Um, so we're, yeah, the countrymen, and the other thing about the countrymen is they definitely don't sound like these PR40s. Oh, yeah, no, that, that totally makes a difference. Uh, and I guess I guess the countrymen's are the the better, I mean, obviously, they're the better choice than doing like a lapel mic or something. Yeah, the idea is to have your hands free in the living room so you can play with a camera, play with your iPad. That's, right. That's the idea you, of the countrymen. Have you guys gotten body tape for the countrymen people? Because last time I checked, uh, the countrymen were 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 a flopping, and I know that that body tape makes a big difference. What for we me have is the thing that goes around the back of your head and hooks over the other ear. Okay. Yeah, and not everybody likes to use that, but that certainly gives the mic a lot of stability. Yeah. We've not. I, wonder I don't know about taping. That's an interesting thought. Uh, oh no no, the tape makes a huge difference. Like like uh, I mean, it's uh, I can't. I can't show you because we're compiling right now, um, but but like in the the big uh, the first Dignation live appearance I did, you could see me through the entire fire eating routine. I'm monkeying with my countrymen because it kept falling down. And the the, the problem is like once you put it in uh, and you're set up, your your natural movement of your shirt and everything causes friction that that pulls down the wire down the back of your shirt and it uh, and it causes the when when you pull down in the back it causes the boom to flop up so yeah. by putting a spot of, of body tape in the back that holds it in place really nicely well our uh, hosts generally aren't uh, flopping around like you they generally you just sit in a chair try. it's a lot of natural floppage in well people. yeah i mean if you're doing a magic show you gotta be bizarre right yes exactly um right on so how many oh well hello robert hi i'm back <laughs> Um, yeah, I saw that. Um, well, I still got I still got 30 30 uh 30 percent more to encode here, unfortunately. See that right there? That's the Justin Robert Young sponsored encoding box. Brought to you by the jury. There you go. That's innocuous. We'll just put it right there. And then you can know that's how far we are. Um I don't know. This is this is like the last week before I go out for my college run, and it's going to be a pretty good, insane run of shows. I um, uh, we've got we got um, a run of like five shows in seven days in five states of uh, of the college shows, and well, I'll look at the schedule. We'll figure out where I'm going to Skype in from from all those, and in the middle of all that, we we're going to fly out, you know, to do the the twit party on the twenty first. Then I get home for three days, and then we go to Dragon Con, which, um, by the way, did you hear the whole plans with all that, Justin? Aside from what we talked about? No, uh, I guess not. I guess since you and I were the ones planning, you probably heard the plans. That was that was a soft segue of you talking about how we're going to blow stuff well, up at Dragon Con. Last, last we talked, uh, we had a strategy that you had to go figure out. So I have no idea if that got figured out. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, here are the things that are confirmed is we are definitely doing NSFW live at Dragon Con. It definitely will be epic and gigantic. 
uh, we are we're actually in the middle of seeing if our venue can be get swapped around because the venue they had us in, I'm like, well, there is, we will not physically be able to contain all the people in there because we were already at capacity last year. So this year we're trying to, to, to get – NSFW is going to be in the afternoon evening of Sunday. So it will be Sunday night. I know we have people coming in. Uh, Lonely.geek is coming in. We know uh, that uh, that uh, Bill Meeks and crew is going to be out there. I know Gigaloop was planning to come on out. Anyone else in the chat room planning to come on out? I don't know. We're hoping for – Will I be there? I don't know. Are you going to go to Dragon Con? Are you, are you uh, coming to Dragon Con? You should come to Dragon Con. What's totally that going to be Dragon Con? When's that going to be? Uh, Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. weekend. Unless you'll be at home praying to your labor union. Nah, I'll pass. I'll go next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so I need to go view. Where, where's Dragon Con at? It's in, uh, it's in Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Uh, Lonely.geek, uh, the answer far. is Yes. Uh, that's in fact we need we need helpers for for the video part of things, so we'll have to we'll have to set that stuff up. But it's NSFW will be on Sunday night, and um, oh, uh, we uh, the time still needs a little maybe a little bit of tweaking on that. We're trying to get the big room, hoping for a lot of surprise guests. So if anybody watching has an inside sauce to an epic surprise guest, hit us up over email. Let us know who you could get. To have show up because let me tell you, like this is one of our everybody calls in every favor they got to make this the epic gathering of Dragon Con. Robert, uh, I'd go. Do I have to pay for my? Do, I, do you do you pay my way, <laughs> or do I do I have to pay my own way? Where do I submit that? <laughs> Where do I submit the proposal to to go? You know what? Here's what you do: make an account uh -huh. on Fiverr okay. and say I will go to Dragon Con if you pay me five dollars. Okay, that's about uh, that's about three percent of a of a plane ticket. <laughs> that's, that's, that. that's, you, get, you can get multiple buys, like really? Yeah, so, someone besides oh, Brian, someone that, actually bought the in Brian's uh, kitchen thing. Who bought the uh, cook a uh, meal in my kitchen name, thing? But, uh, apparently, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I thought you, you're gonna you, you realize you're gonna have to make a ton of these once you're gonna be whoring out well, my kitchen. Well, the funny thing is, Brian, like. Unbeknownst to you, Chat Realm is a big fan of the show it, Cooking in Brian's Kitchen, which happened uh, the week you were gone. And many things were made, uh, though no dishes were broken. You live stream cooking from my kitchen? I was under pressure. Wow. <laughs> it's my private home. <laughs> you don't know what I do when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we are totally encoded now. Um, Good. Yes. Yeah, I had to go in the bathroom and, and clean this cookie stuff off me. I still got it in my eyes, though. That's what she said. Yeah. I, I mean the thing about the cookie stuff, not yeah. the eyes thing. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, all right, well, look, I, I guess I'm going to wrap things up here. I don't know if what else – is there anything else left to, to do? Give give me give me enough money to go to Dragon Con. <laughs> Why don't you you got to start a Kickstarter instead of a Fiverr? You got to start a Kickstarter. Okay. Yeah. First, I got to find out uh, what day is Memorial Day. Labor Day. Well, Memorial I mean, Day. I mean, was Labor Day, not ago. Memorial Day. Labor Day. Um. Uh. It's. I believe it is September second through the fifth. I move in. The, uh, I move into my apartment on September second. I'm not going to be able to go. Well, Boo! But, but you will you just, you be a bag full town, of butts. Right? So, so we already decided that you're going to come back in in September sometime. Is that what we were talking about? I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, let me know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I move into my apartment actually ten minutes from your house on September second. So we're neighbors. Well, okay. We're basic. I'm going to be Whoa, right down the street, right basically. Down. Boom. Hey, yes. Yeah, so, so, our our. our uh, there you go. Look at that. Wait, you get we actually line up there. Oh wow, I didn't Well well not really. A little uh, bit of the nether region. Hold on, let me I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> Your tiny hand. <laughs> <laughs> My tiny hand. I'm actually nine feet tall. Wait. Uh, now we just awkwardly touched your hand. 
There you go. Nah, it's not gonna happen. What? Whoa. That's strangely erotic. <laughs> Ready? <Here we> go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, I think that's the cue. That's the Dirk's rule, is when you start groaning and moving from one screen to the next, that means it's time to wrap things up. Uh, this was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys at Dragon Con. Don't forget Dragon Con 2. Wait, Con of the Dragon 2, double complete dragon, right? Uh, Dragon Con 2. No. Con, Dragon Con, Con of the Dragon 2, double complete dragon. I think was that. It was that. <laughs> Done. Pretty sure. I don't know. Who fucking cares? Okay, go ahead, care Justin Robert. Beep. <laughs> what is it with you, man? This is you're killing me. You're bad. You're bad. You're slaying. You're you're killing your father, Larry. <laughs> you're Sorry, your father, Larry. Sorry. All right. Well, so Get long. That in, Tony. And with that, <laughs> and with that, I am going to uh, leave you with this. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. I've got I'll see. Screen and- <laughs> Bye, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Die in a fire. Ben for Con, which will be at my, Sorry, my two-bedroom apartment. <laughs> ben for Con! Yeah. I'm gonna get some uh, finger snacks from Walmart. Finger foods.